Uh, JT, that's now 12 matches on the road. The Broncos straight have not won. The last time they won on the road was in Townsville with the opening of the new stadium. Round one last year, there has been a lot of pressure of late on Anthony Milford with his future up in the air beyond 2021. Where's he at? Well, he's a confidence player. And at the moment, I think his confidence is pretty shot. Um, he's not getting much around him either. Uh, I think he needs a really good organising half and an experienced dummy half to be able to get the boys around the paddock and then he can inject himself where need be. But there's a set here. The Broncos are attacking the line. And this is the only time that he touches the ball. That is where he needs to come alive. They're attacking the line. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. That's why he is the leader of this team where he needs to stand up and really demand the ball. As a half, you should be touching it two, three times down that end, getting your hand on the ball, creating options for those around you, and he's not doing that. You look at the best halves in the competition. And Nathan Cleary, for instance, he's, he's always got the ball in his hands. Whether he lays it off to his forwards or he's putting a play on or he's running the football, he's always got... Sam Walker played his debut game last week and he always had the ball in his hands. Uh, like He's got to go and watch some of the good halfbacks, the halfbacks that are getting results at the moment and see what they're doing because what he's doing at the moment isn't working. And part of the Broncos' attack as well, when they're attacking the try line, their forwards are the first option. They need their halves stepping up and getting the ball in their hands. If you watch South Sydney tonight, Adam Reynolds, when they're attacking the run, he gets the ball in his hands. Benji Marshall gets the ball in his hands. Them, uh, their boys are getting it off the, pit, the, the middle forwards. It, it, it doesn't work. Yeah, it also comes down to communication and organisation. If you're organising your men around you, well, you'll have an opportunity to run. You'll have an opportunity to play straight and you won't just run sideways. So organising is, is the key and then communicating that to your, the, the men around you and that'll give you a better chance to get the ball in your hands and put on your plays. No easy answers uh, for Kevin Walters and the Broncos at the moment. Let's bring in Joey and Danica. Thank you, James. Well, yes, it doesn't get any easier for the Broncos going forward. They face the Penrith Panthers next week. Joey, something's got to give. Is now the time? Has the time come to drop Anthony Milford? Well, you've got to look who else you're going to put in there. Uh, Brodie Croft and Deard, and I don't think they would go with that well together. Look, they're getting nothing out of dummy half. Jake Turpin is not a running dummy half. Look, Anthony Milford's never been an organising half or a 5'8", so you can't expect him to organise and steer him around. You need a halfback who plays totally on the ball and let Anthony Milford just float around because he's not a big talker, he's not one of those players who pushes everyone around. But at the moment, he's just his confidence is just... It's, just, it's hard to watch because now that we, we know the great player he is. But when he gets the ball broke and play like that, this is where he's dangerous. But organising his troops and organising his back rowers and his fullback, that's not his go. He's got to somehow come up with plays where he gets to play with broken play, whether they play him fullback in certain attacking areas. But I don't know what the answer is because I don't think Brody Croft and Deedon would really go well together. So... Well, you mentioned Carmichael Hunt in commentary. Mm. Could he be the answer? Well, if I was coach, I'd be calling Carmichael for sure. He's a winner. He's as tough as they come, Carmichael. He's done it at all levels. He's done it in a couple of codes. And you know what you're going to get. He's going to compete. He's tough. He'd be a great influence on the young players around training. There's times on the field when things aren't going their way. He would just grab the young blokes and say, get on the back of me and play and you know, you could play 5'8", he wouldn't overcomplicate the way he plays. You know what you're going to get. But at the moment, it's really hard to watch because, for me personally, I know the player Anthony can be and what he offers. We've seen it, you know, near one of grand final. If, if they beat the Cowboys here at Stadium Australia, he probably would have got Clive Churchill medal that night. We know it's, he's just so down on confidence. And, you know, the halves partner, I just don't know which partner goes well with Anthony Milford. It's a real tough one for Kevy.